And we did, I think, a, a clip on this where Brian Kilmeade, in a way to discredit the warrant, and they've moved way past this, incidentally, uh, to discredit the warrant being issued for Trump's house. Now, now you can't. And, and, and let's be clear, Mar-a-Lago is not officially his house because he had problems with the um, a municipality where uh, Mar-a-Lago is located. And they said, no, it just has to be a hotel. It can't be your residence. Um, but Trump's uh, like storage facility. They were trying to discredit the search in any way they could until it became clear that, oh, there was actually something there that he was hiding from authorities. Brian Kilmeade, when he was filling in for Tucker Carlson, showed a picture of the judge who issued the warrant. Who, incidentally, um, was subject to such a, a sort of anti-Semitic attacks that the temple in which he served as a board member had to shut down and, and stop uh, their Shabbat services last Friday. Brian Kilmeade showed a picture of this judge getting his feet massaged by uh, Jelaine, Maxwell. Jelaine Maxwell on the Lolita Express. The problem is it turned out to be not the judge that this, the picture was photoshopped. And, and sourced to a meme account on the on the broadcast. <laughs> it literally was transparently like not. It was photoshopped yeah, yeah. and it was actually originally a picture of Epstein. And so Kilmeade, what a worm. Instead of issuing an yep. apology, this is what he writes on Twitter. Last night while subbing for Tucker Carlson, we... <laughs> we... Me and my producer. In other words, not my fault. Or maybe he just re refers to uh, himself in the royal we. Yeah. The Kilmedians. We, all of us. We showed you an image. Now, did we sub for Tucker Carlson? I wonder who the we... Okay. We showed you an image of Judge Bruce Reinhardt with Ghislaine Maxwell that was sourced on screen to a meme pulled from Twitter and wasn't real. This depiction never took place, and we wanted to make it clear that we were showing a meme, you ready for this folks, in jest. In other words, we didn't make a mistake. We were making a joke. And yeah, and, and the, which begs the question, what's the joke? The what, joke <laughs> is, what is, the, what is the joke? Actually? I'll tell you what the joke is. The joke is, it's funny how we can convince the rubes who watch this network of anything yeah. and then don't have to apologize for it. It is insane. Like, when we played that clip, I think I said, like, this dude's going to have to issue an apology tomorrow. Yeah. And he, and he seemed genuinely like he was a kind of stumbling over his words after. It, it, it didn't seem it purposeful like, in the moment. It sounded like Which, maybe some there's some cross chatter between producers in the back stage saying, one of them saying, yeah, put it up. And another saying, uh, uh, I don't <laughs> think that's a real picture. I, Nevertheless, the idea that they're pretending now it was a joke like, yeah, on purpose, right. like it was like that's that was what we we planned on that, you know. <laughs> but that that joke, like, uh, ha ha, the guy who uh, who like is in charge for the, this legal outcome is a, on the Epstein Express, like that that that's that's not really a joke. No, it's not a joke at all. That he's like a, you know. Of credible, like, let's put his face on the face of a credibly and that meme, like, incidentally, was also not really a meme. No, it was a yeah, it was a doctored photo. It was a doctored photo, uh, like basically accusing this guy of being a pedophile. Yeah, haha, -ha. that's a great cable news joke. Amazing. 